Hello, my name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn to read and write Hindi, and we are also here because we want to learn to read and write Urdu. We are doing both. Today is our lesson number 13. Today is our 13th meeting. On day 1 through 4, we learned the first matra, the Aki matra. On the next four days, day number 5, 6, 7 and 8, we learned Iki matra. And then we did Oki matra on day number 9, 10, 11 and 12. And today we'll start the fourth matra, the Uki matra. Let's begin, shall we? Uki matra. So just like Iki matra and just like Oki matra, there is a Choti Uki Matra and Badi Uki Matra. Choti Uki Matra being the one that makes a very short U sound and the Badi, Badi Uki Matra of course makes a longer U sound. For example, let me give you a few examples from English language words before we begin, shall we? For example, words like Tuk, Tuk, Foot, Shuk. They all have U sound but the U is very quick. Foot, that's it. As opposed to food. You see the difference food? and foot. Boot, took. So this is longer O sound. Boot, food. We don't going to say foot. We say food. Moot, shoot, shoe. Even though shoe is spelled S-H-O-E but this pronunciation is shoe. It's a longer O sound in it. Boot. So the Chotiyo ki matra, Badiyo ki matra. Do you understand? The same exact thing applies in your language as well as mine, in Hindi and, and, and in Urdu. We have symbols as opposed to English language where they use letters and they leave it up to the reader to figure out how to pronounce it. In your language in Hindi and in my language in Urdu, we actually have symbols to help us tell, help us uh, guide how the words to be pronounced. Is it, does it have a choti, does it have a short U sound or does it have a long U sound? Let's begin. Choti Uki Matra, Choti Uki Matra takes a symbol in Urdu called Pesh. It's called Pesh and it looks something like this. You take your letter, for example, letter B, B, and you put a symbol like this and it becomes Bu. In Hindi, you take your letter B and watch what happens. You put a symbol like this. Notice that the two symbols are exactly alike. Two symbols are exactly alike. So symbols look exactly alike. Symbols look exactly alike. Except in Hindi, in Hindi, it goes. on the bottom. Now I could have just said all that. I don't know why I had the uncontrollable urge to write everything out. I want to write everything out because I find it very fascinating. I find it very interesting that the symbols are exactly the same. The only difference is that Hindi takes the, the symbols at the bottom of the letter. Urdu, in Urdu the letters take the symbol on top but they, get exact, they look exactly the same. You call it in Hindi it is called Choti Yuki Matra. In Urdu, we don't have matras, we call it pesh. And it becomes, it converts the ba into a bu. Similarly, if we had pa, I left no room for myself, did I? Similarly, if you had a pa to convert into a pu, it's the same thing, nothing changes. It's, you just put a symbol like this, here's your pa, and you put a symbol like this. Very easy to remember, since I'm learning Hindi, and I'm learning, relearning Urdu, so I, Urdu, of course, I know better because I learned it at one time in my in my younger years. But Hindi, since I'm learning it from scratch, I find it very easy to remember. For me, it's very easy to remember how Choti Uki Matra looks like in Hindi because it's exactly like Urdu. You just put a pesh, except the pesh goes at the bottom. Here's your two, te, and a pesh. You write your to, and you you get the idea. The question is, the question is, what happens to alif? What happens to alif? Here's your alif, and you put a page on it becomes o. What what happens in Hindi? Now my my instinct tells me 
Then I'll do the same thing. I'll follow the pattern. I'll take my uh and I'll just go like that. Just like I was doing, just like I was doing when I first started learning Hindi and I was learning Iki Matra. In Iki Matra, I just assume, I just assume that B, B is like this and P, P is like that. I just took the uh and I went like that. And I realized that there is no such thing. For E, Hindi has a unique symbol, looks like something like this. Choti E and Badi E. It has a unique symbol. Similarly, that is wrong. That is not how it goes. Hindi has a unique symbols, symbols rather, not symbols, symbols for Choti, the sound of Choti U and Badi U. Choti U looks like this. This is wrong. You just make it like a three and you put a line on this. That's what it looks like. Let's talk about Badi Uki Matra. Badi Uki Matra, what do you do when Badi Uki Matra for do? Badi Uki Matra takes wow and ulta pesh. It takes a pesh, but it's called ulta pesh. It's upside down pesh. In addition to taking the pesh, which comes in upside down, upside down form, ulta pesh, in addition to that, it takes the letter wow. So for example, by the way, we're talking about all of these words here, boot, food, mood, shoot, and shoe. In case you don't know what mood means, and if you're interested in learning it, just type in vocabulary words, GRE vocabulary words, day seven, watch the video and learn the word. So, here's our, here's our bay, and we want a boo for uh, uh, matra. We're gonna take a, put a wow, wow with it, and on top of wow, We'll take a put a symbol that looks like this, and it's called ulta pesh, upside down pesh. Even though to me, it doesn't look nothing like upside down pesh because to me, upside down pesh is is the Hindi Hindi badi uki matra. Because the pesh is like this, the ulta would be like this, but that's what they call it. To me, it looks more like a standing up pesh, not upside down pesh, but that's what we call it. Let's put them together. So we take a bow. We take a wow and then we put a now it becomes boo. It becomes boo. And in Hindi, you will take your bow and instead of symbol, instead of symbol going like this, this is Chodiuki Matra, like a pesh, it will go in the opposite direction. There we go. This do poo. Who would be pe, wow, and ulta pesh. And so on and so forth. Let's begin some words, shall we? Let's begin some words, and as we start doing some words, we'll, we'll practice some more. Let's begin. So as always, we'll do them in pairs, because that's what we have been doing. That's what we have been doing when we did the Iki Matra and when we did the Oki Matra, we put, we are going to put Choti Uki Matra here, Badi Uki Matra here, the words containing Choti U and Badi U. Let's begin, shall we? Let's start with the word that I just used, which is Ulta. Ulta, upside down. Ulta. So, U, I still have not mastered how U is written. U. Do it a little bit better. I think it looks like this. U and then L and Ta. Ulta. Now what we're going to do right now, it's going to break it up so you understand it. This is Alif and Pesh. That makes a U. This whole of this, all of this part, all of this part is what this is. In Hindi, it's just like this. This is U. Then we have a Lam, L. That's this part right here, L. And then a T. That's this right here. And then alif, ulta. Let's do a word with a longer u sound. Ju, so ju would be our jim, jim, and a vowel. We have to connect them. And when we know that when jim is connected, it takes this form, and to which we're going to connect vowel, and we're going to play ulta pesh. That's ju. All of that is this ju. And then te and alif. Juta. Juta is in shoe. 
Juta. Uh, but you can see, as you can hear, the U sound is longer. Juta as opposed to Ulta. Ulta U is very quick. Let's do one more. Let's do one more pair. Un. Un as in him or her. Unko dere, unse baat kare. Unko bulaye, call him, call her. Unse baat kare, talk to him, speak with her. Un. Here's another one with a big one. Here's b, and then a wow, and then a ulta pitch. That makes a boo. That's going to make a boo. The longer, the bari u, bari u ki matra. Boo. Ta. Boot. Boot as in boot. Let's do one more. This is ta with a pitch. Tu, tu, and then more, tum, and then more. Mimi looks like this, but when it joins, it's going to start at the bottom. We have talked about many times. So here's your tu, and actually, actually, it's not because it's it's not going to start at the bottom because because it is the very last because it ends with me. It's going to keep the same shape. Tum, tum as in you, tum. Let's look at one with the bari uki matra. Here's an interesting one. Ru. Oh, this one, this one is tricky. This one is tricky. I'll tell you in a second why it is tricky. Let me first, let me first write it the wrong way. Let me first write it the wrong way. Uh, it's tricky for me. If you already know Hindi, it's very easy for you, but it's tricky for me. Ru. And then seen Rus. What is Rus? Rus is what we call Russia. Russia in Hindi and in Urdu is called Rus. Now what we learned is that this actually is not correct. I don't know why. I have not figured out the reason why. But this Bari Uki Matra, only for Re I found out. Only for Re. And I still have not figured out why. But only for Re I found out that it, it does not go at the bottom. It actually has to go right on the side. It goes like this and it connects like that. Let me rewrite it with a free hand and it doesn't need to actually close. It doesn't actually need to close. I, I'll, I'll explain to you what I mean by close. So this is R and it stays like that and it, sometimes it connects and sometimes it doesn't have to connect and doesn't. sometimes it close. It goes like that. And that is this. Matra. But I don't know why it goes on the side. And it only happens with R. Only happens with R. I don't know why. But that's how we write Ru. Ru. So. Ru as in Russia. Let's do one more here. Oh, we can do it right here. We don't have to erase too much. Let's do one other letter, other, other word. There we go. Sun. 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 As you know, Sin, the whole form looks like this. And when it joins, when it's about to join another letter, it loses this part. It loses this part, and all is that is staying is this part. And that part that you see there is gone. This is destroyed. But then this part that you see is the part that belongs to N. Sun. Sun as in to listen. Sun. Let's do one more, which will have this feature. Da. Da. Ru. And again, it will go to the side. It will not go in the bottom. It will go to the side. It will not go to the bottom. This is wrong. It will go to the side. Daru. Daru is in liquor. So we have a ru, a wow, and upsa, ulta pesh. Daru. Daru is in booze, liquor. Let's do one more. Gun. Gun. What is gun?
Gun. Gun means merit, skill, virtue, quality. Gun. Just the one with the body, body ki matra. Ah, this is this is tricky. So this is the dal. Again, we have talked about it many many times. Dal and do chashmi hai. Do chashmi hai right there. Right there is a do chashmi hai. Since in Urdu we do not have letters for these sounds, the we don't have a letter for the. We do of course make sound like that. We do have sound, but not the letter. So we do the same thing that you will do in English. If you want to say the in English, you will take your D and you put an H next to it to, to make a the sound. That's exactly what we're doing here. There is your D and there is your H. The. In Hindi, they do have, in Hindi you do have unique letters and it looks something like this. I have to slow down to make sure that I don't get it right. To make sure that I don't get it wrong. Trust me, I'm very talented. I don't have to slow down ever to make sure I don't get it right. Do. Do. Oh, sorry, not the page. Not the page. See that that part that I just did would simply have been this, and that would have been the end of it. But we want a badi uki matra. Badi uki matra means it goes the other way and it's going to require wow and the symbol is going to go on go top of wow and it's going to be ulta fish. So two things. Badi uki matra in Urdu will require an additional, an additional letter wow and the symbol is goes on the wow and the symbol is called ulta fish. And when we combine all of this thing, all of this thing that you see here. All of these three letters, one, two, three, all of these three letters and that symbol, all of that is this. Do. Do. So when you combine, there is a dal, and then he is going to join the vowel. Do. Per. Do. Do, as in sun, sun, sunshine. Sunshine. Let's do one more with the Choti Uki Matra. Same one here, Gu. Same gu, there is your gu, and then gu, and then ma, gum, and then na, gum, na, and then ma, the ma. That's what we're going to write. Gu, ma, na, ma. Gumnam. What do you suppose gumnam means? Gumna means, gum means uh, it's lost. Gumna is made up of two parts. The prefix gum, which means uh, something that is lost. Gum ho gaya, mil raha hai. Gum ho gaya kahin pe. And naam is name. Gumna means name that is lost. That's the literal meaning of it. Metaphorically, gumna means something that is obscure, something that is anonymous, something that is unknown. Anonymous. Gumna. Obscure. The question is, how do we join all this thing? Just do it on the top here. Okay, watch what happens. So because this meme appears at the very end, it's going to take the whole form. But because this guy appears in the middle, instead of looking like this, starting from the top and going to the bottom, it's going to start like that. So here is the gu, and then ma, gum, and then the na, gum, na, and then this meme stays by itself, gum, na. That's how you write, gum, na. Obscure, unknown, anonymous. Next one is tricky. Next one is uh, is a little tricky. Let me first write it in Hindi. Ka, su, ra, kasur. Kasur hogi. Aapka kasur tha. Ya aapka kasur hai ki ye kaam nahi kar raha. Ye aapka kasur hai ki ye tut gaya hai. Kasur means mistake, failure, blame, omission, boo boo. A failure, a mistake, a blame is called a kasur. The reason I decided to write in Hindi first is because watch what happens. So here's the ka, ka, sa, and then wow, ulta pesh, and then ra, kasur. 
if you wrote it like this, if you wrote this kasur like this in Hindi, you will get a big fat zero in Urdu and you will flunk your exam, you will flunk your class, you will flunk your grade. That is the wrong spelling. There are for two reasons. First of all, the kur that we need here, it should have a dot here. We need kur. Kur. Kasur is an Arabic word. It doesn't start with kaf, it starts with kaf. Kaf and kaf. It's a, it's a gruntle sound. Go. Uh, ka. That's this ka right here. And this sir that we see there is not this sir. It's this sir. Swad. We have learned it here before probably. Uh, I don't know if we have learned it or not. But it's a swad. I'm, I'm sure we have learned it. We talked about it many times. Right there. Right there. Swad. That's this one. And it should not have two of these. It should only have one. That's a so. so it's called suad. Let's rewrite it with the proper spelling. So it starts with a ka. Ka. Su. Ra. That's the right spelling. And the second one that you see there, the second part, second one that you see there is for a vowel to join. The thing itself is just one. That's kasur. It means, as I said, a blame. Let's do one more. The next word that we're going to write, and I'm going to write in the middle and I'm going to erase all of this thing. Uh, maybe I should keep it. Uh, the next word that we're going to write will have both choti uki matra and badi uki matra. Let's do it together. So that's kasul. Let me first write it in Urdu and then we'll deal with Hindi. See if you can read it. Are you able to read it? Let's do it together, shall we? The first one, this part that you see there, the Sajim, the Sajo, the Sajim. And it has a page. So that makes a choti uki matra. Juice, a ju, and then we have this is seen. This is seen in a short form. It only takes these two, the bottom part disappears. Juice, and then we have a t. That's the t. Juice, t, and then we have a jim again. We have a jim again, which joins the vowel with the ulta pish. And when we join this part, it looks like this. Ju. Just the Ju. What the bloody hell is just the Ju? You might be asking yourself, if you are a Hindi speaker, if you are, if you know Urdu, then of course you would know what it means. It's a Urdu word. Just the Ju means a quest, a search. Just the just, just, just Ju kar rahe means I'm searching for it. Justuju. Justuju, as you can see, has two U's. It begins with the Choti Uki Matra, ends with the Badi Uki Matra. Justuju. That's how it looks like. Let's, let's write it one more time. Let's write it one more time so you can see it now. So there is a Ju, this is Sir, and then Ju. Oh, I left out the T. Justuju. Here we go. Just the Ju. Voila. You see how it looks? Let's do the next one. So this one had both Chodi Uki Matra and Badi Uki Matra. Let's do the one uh, with Chodi Uki Matra. Let's first write it in Hindi. Gu. So that's your ga, gu, la, and ma, gulam. So if you were to if you were to spell gulam like this in Urdu, this will be marked wrong. Gulam is going to take a dot here because we need not a not a ga but gaf. Right there, that gaf we need here. We have two gafs in Urdu. 
this is wrong. We need this calf. And when this guy is about to join something, it looks like this. It looks like this. That's a go. And then we need a page. Gu. So that's gu right there. Gu. La. Ma. Kulam. What is what do you suppose gulam means? Gulam means slave. A slave is called gulam. That's the one with the body uki matra. Do. Do. As you can see, it's longer u sound. Do. And then the. The. Do. Do. I hope I wrote it correctly. Dut. Let's do one with the Choti Kumatra again. We're done with this part, we need the room. So again, Gu. This is Ga. And then Pesh. Gu. Gu. And then Z. 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 Gu. Z. And then a ray, guzar, na, guzar na, guzar na says to whatever is happening, going on, guzar na. Let's do one with the body uki matra, shall we? Let's do one with the body uki matra. Ka, and then bu, ka bu. No, no, that's the pesh. That's how I remember pesh. Pesh is for chodi uki matra. Ka bu tar. Okay, it became a little bit crowded. I'm going to rewrite it. Ka bu and this is ta and a ra. Kabutar. You know what kabutar is? Kabutar, I believe, is a, is a pigeon. Kabutar. Let's do one with the Chodi Uki Matra. Let's see if you can write, read this thing. U Can you read it? Let me explain. Let me explain, okay? So this is U. U. Now here's what happens. I'm going to erase some of this thing so we can have the room. Listen, listen very carefully. Listen very carefully, okay? This is seen. This part is seen. So, when it appears in a, in a joint handwriting, when it's about to join the next letter, all of this disappears, all the round part disappears, and you just end up with this. Are you with me so far? Now, what happens sometimes is that people get lazy. People get lazy, and they say, to, they, say to, they say to themselves, why the bloody hell should I make two of them? Why don't I just get on? So, instead of making two of these individually, they just make one because they are lazy. That's what this is. Us and then ta. Ta. This this part is ta. Ta. Te and alif. Ta. Ustad. You know what ustad is? Ustad means teacher. Ustad means teacher. Let's do badi uki matra. Pe. And do chashmi here. Pa. That's the only way we can write pa in Urdu. We do not have unique letters. We do not have unique letters like you do in Hindi. Pa. And then it's going to take a while. And ulta pesh. So it's like this, pu. So, all of that you see there, again, four letters. It takes four different letters to write what you write in Hindi like this. P and H. Think of this as P and H. Don't think of this as, as in P and H. There's nothing to think of it as P and H. That's exactly what it is. P and H. This is P and, and H. That's how, you will, that's how you will write F in English. Phone. That's how you will do it. That's exactly what we do in English. That's exactly what we do in Urdu. We take the per, pe, and a her to make per. So this is per and then a her. Per. So this, that part is so far this thing. Then we have to join the vowel and then the ultra page. 
And all of that you, you see there is this fu and then lam, fool. Fool as in flower. And fun has nothing to do with it. Fun as in flower. Let's do one. Let's do one more with the Bariyuki Matra. Let's do one more. K, this is K. K, which is uh, this K. Another K is Kaf and Do Chashmi here. That's not what we're using here. We're using this K. K, K, and then it's going to join the vowel. And the vowel has an ulta pesh. So that makes it ku. Badiu ki matra. Ku. No. Khun. Khun. Let's write them together, shall we? Khun. So this, this ku, when it joins it, it just takes this form. It just takes that form. And now vowel is going to join, to, join with it. And the vowel is going to take ulta pesh. And then a noon. There we go. Let me give you one more example. Let me just give you one more example so that you can understand how the scene is written. So you can write it like this or you can write it like this. Us, ta. They are both correct. And the reader would understand what this is. Let me give you one more example. A word with a choti uki matra which will have a scene like scene and I'm going to write it like this one more time so you can see what it looks like in written form. Let me first write the whole thing, see if you could read it. Are you able to read it? Let me erase this part. Are you able to read it? Let's break it up, shall we? So this part is a meme. Meme, this is me meme, this is meme and page, mu. Mu, and this is the sir part that I was talking about, seen. Mu, sir, and this is lam, mu, sir, le, mu, sir, le, and this is ma, ma, and then noon stays by itself. What do you suppose it reads? Musulman, mu, sir, le, musul, man, musulman. That's it. That's all I have in my page here for today. It's probably a very long video already. I just take my sweet time. I go at my slow pace because I'm, I'm having a fun. I, I'm, I'm having a good time because I'm learning. If I go too fast, I won't learn properly myself. I'm learning Hindi and I'm relearning Urdu as, as I told you already the first day. We'll meet again tomorrow, day number 14 and then 15 and then 16. We'll do three more parts with Uki Matra 13, 14, 15 and 16 as we've been doing four parts each, each Matra. And after day number 16, on day number 17, we'll start the last matra, which is Eki matra. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.